Hi team, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender. Today I'm showing you how to make an El Cafecito coffee cocktail. Uh, this one was on the Cocktail Collective website and it's inspired by an El Cafecito, which I believe from what I've read and what I've watched on YouTube is a Cuban style coffee. A little bit similar to a Dalgona coffee. It's essentially using a mocha pot to, to make a, a dark or a black coffee, uh, whipping up a little bit of that coffee with some sugar and then adding the coffee into that. And then when you pour it into a glass, it has a bit of a, a sweet crema on top. Um, unlike the Dalgona coffee where you whip it and then you layer it on top. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a sweet style Cuban coffee. Um, I was hoping to be able to use a dark Cuban rum. Sorry, I'm pointing to this, that's not Cuban rum. Uh, I would have liked to have used Havana Club Dark. Uh, so if you do have a bottle of that, then this is probably, that's probably the ideal rum to use in this, in this cocktail. I'm using a dark Jamaican, which I think is still gonna work quite well. Uh, I was co contemplating using my Florida Kanye seven year, uh, which is sweeter. Uh, it's got more notes of caramel and vanilla in it. But I think that the sweet components being the Tia Maria, the liqueur 43 vanilla, vanilla liqueur and the sugar, there's enough sweetness there. So I wanted something more intense to stand up to those sweet components. Also, the drink does call for being shaken. I actually think this is gonna work better as a stirred drink over a large cube. So I'm gonna do it that way. Also, before I get started on the recipe itself, I did draw some winners of, well, I drew, drew the winners a while ago, but I've finally got the uh, the prizes sorted out. So first of all, congratulations to uh, Sam from Victoria for winning the bottle of the three-fold aromatic gin. Bottle is already on the way. Um, I've already been in contact with him. Uh, I did draw someone else's name and got in touch with them, but unfortunately they weren't in Australia, so they were ineligible for that competition. I'm sorry. Then the three $250 bar hauls. I also sent those prizes out. Marlon from Estonia. He's getting like a bit of a beginner's pack. Uh, Aralia from Texas, same same thing, a beginner's pack. I sent a bottle of beef eater gin, Dewar's, uh, Scotch whiskey, Tito's vodka, Old Overholt rye, Cointreau, and Elijah Craig bourbon whiskey. Man, your dollar goes a long way when you're buying booze in the States. It's, yeah, it's crazy. Um, and then Oystein from Norway, I sent him a bit of a tiki pack and I got him, could only get him four bottles in comparison to like twice that many in the States. Um, Oystein, I sent him a bottle of Plantation Three Star, Plantation Dark, El Dorado Three, and the Bitter Truth for Learnham. So he gets mixing on some more tiki cocktails. Back to the coffee cocktail, uh, the El Cafecito. So, Got to measure out 45 mil, 1.5 ounces of your preferred dark rum, and then 15 mil of your coffee liqueur, Kahlua, Tia Maria, Mr. Black. Keep in mind, Mr. Black isn't as sweet, so you might want to increase the uh, sugar component from either the liqueur 43 or the simple syrup. And first time I've used liqueur 43 on the channel, and this tiny, tiny little bottle. 15 ml, half an ounce. And because it's the first time I'll be using it, it also means that I'll be adding liqueur 43 onto the cocktail, uh, Shake and Strain Cocktails app. So make sure you check it out. If you're on Android, go down, onto the, follow the link in the description below and download that, if you want, of course. Then it calls for a dash of simple syrup. So a dash is a quarter of a bar spoon, a quarter of a teaspoon. Two dashes of chocolate bitters. I'm actually using a jocolato, which is cacao and spices. A couple of dashes of that. And it's smelling good. Add a scoop of ice and give it a stir for 30, 40 seconds. Yes, Kat. Uh, Kat's birthday is in like a week. So I might do a giveaway for that. I've actually been, reminds me, I've been thinking of an idea for my next giveaway. Um, I'll, I'll get Kat to put some input in a separate giveaway, but this one that I'm thinking of, 
Uh, I was going to do a cocktail competition with viewer submitted cocktails. Um, but I want to make sure that it's a an pretty epic prize to win. So start, put your thinking cap on, start thinking about some awesome cocktails that you know that you've created. Strain over one large cube. If you have one, if you don't, pour it over smaller cubes. It's not, not going to be a problem. Strain over the top. So I'm actually going to, I've changed my mind. I'm going to garnish this with a twist of uh, orange. It's going to work really well with the, the rum, the coffee, the vanilla liqueur. The original recipe does call for coffee beans, but they're just going to sink to the bottom and annoy me. So. They have an El Cafecito cocktail inspired by the Cuban coffee. Cheers. Get the, the sweetness and the, the, those notes of vanilla and coffee. I do like the, the little bit of a funkiness from the, funkiness in a good way, where from the Jamaican rum. Um, I think if you did use like a Florida Cana or if you use another aged or dark rum uh, that has a lot of vanilla or um, caramel characteristics, then it's gonna be overly sweet. Where there's, I think this is actually played quite nicely. I think the vanilla comes through a lot more as opposed to the coffee. It's not too sweet. It works well, those flavors together. I enjoy that. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.